Um, my area of research is human-animal interactions, and I'm going to talk to you for hopefully about five minutes about why dogs are good for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, how many people here had a pet when you were a kid? So that's pretty consistent with what the research finds. Uh, surveys that have been conducted in uh, Canada and the US have found that about 80 to 90 percent of us have at least one pet when we're kids. Um, and uh, my PhD research was about how our experiences with childhood pets uh, affects our mental health and social functioning. Uh, so what I found in my research is that kids who had stronger bonds with their pets when they were kids have higher levels of empathy and also have lower levels of depression and anxiety. Uh, but only if they didn't see anyone abusing their pets. Uh, this is another area of research that I won't tell you about right now because we'll keep the mood. I uh, will keep the mood up a little bit. Uh, so kids who did see their pets being abused had greater levels of anxiety and depression. So the three reasons uh, that I'm going to tell you about about why pets are good for us is that they make us happy. That's one reason. They reduce stress and anxiety, and they uh, facilitate social interactions between humans and people. Uh, so, as you probably know, if you've had a pet, pets make us happy. Uh, they, uh, they make us laugh, they do funny things. Uh, they are always happy to see us, so when we get home, they're, they're always happy uh, when we're there. Um, one of my favorite studies uh, talks about how pets help to reduce depression. So they did uh, some research with university students who had depression, and they compared three different groups. One group had uh, um, group therapy for depression, and there was a dog who happened to be there. Uh, another group didn't have group therapy, they just played with the puppy every week, so this was a control group. And the third group of people uh, didn't receive any intervention. And it was actually the group of people who just played with a puppy every week who experienced significant reductions in their depression after several weeks, not the people who uh, had the group therapy. Uh, they reduced stress and anxiety. So when we pet dogs, uh, our levels of cortisol go down. This is a stress hormone. So when we pet dogs, our levels of cortisol go down. It reduces stress. Uh, it reduces our heart rate, it reduces blood pressure. Uh, so pets seem to be good at, uh, at helping us to reduce stress and anxiety. Uh, pets are helping, dogs are helping veterans with PTSD. So they are trained uh, to help individuals. Uh, if I had more than five minutes, I would tell you more details. But uh, they've been really helpful for veterans with PTSD. Uh, they um, are being used by police departments and uh, uh, counseling centers at universities to help uh, people to reduce their stress and anxiety. They're being used to help students at universities during exam time. Uh, so they help with stress and anxiety as well. Uh, they also help with social facilitation. So in classrooms, they're being used. Uh, dogs in classrooms help students to be nicer to each other. They reduce aggressive behavior. They help students get along better with their teachers. Uh, when, you may have noticed if you have dogs that when you walk with your dog, people are more likely to say hi to you. And they may be more likely to say hi to your dog than they are to you. Uh, some research in France, researchers in France did a study where they asked guys to go out and walk around the street and see how many girls' phone numbers they could get. And the guys who had puppies with them got significantly, this was a statistically significant difference, uh, the guys who had puppies with them got significantly more girls' phone numbers compared to the guys uh, who did not have puppies with them. So this is a scientific fact that if you have a dog with you, you're more likely to get a girl's phone number. Thank you.